How do I get them to apologize? That is a question many people ask in their relationship. One of the challenges I see in long-term and short-term relationships is after we get into a fight, sometimes we start wondering, why aren't they apologizing? Don't they know how much they hurt me? Don't they know how much wrong they've done? And we start looking at our partner and waiting for that apology. It's like we've planted the seed, just like the trees behind me, of they've done wrong and they need to fix it. But let me ask you a question. Have you ever maybe said something wrong when you're to your family members or to a friend and it didn't quite come out the way that you meant it to and they got upset or they got offended and you thought, why are they so upset? Have you ever had a moment where someone else got upset over something that you said? Let me ask you another question. Did you apologize right away? Or did you say, why are you so upset? That's not what I meant. Why are you making it such a big deal? When we start having communication challenges, whether it be with friends or family, often our default, so we don't get hurt, is to project outwards on the other person. Well, you were crabby, or you took it wrong, or if you had only listened to me. Instead of actually stepping back and taking a little bit of responsibility. So let me ask you a question. As you're waiting for this apology from your partner, have you sat down and taken ownership for what you've done? Because have you ever accidentally said something that's hurt someone else? That's why it's so important to really communicate to your partner what it is, or your friend, or your family member, or whoever it is that you're arguing with, and, and let them know like, hey, I'm still being bothered by our conversation the other day. What I heard you say is, isn't that a powerful phrase? So here's the way I took it. Is that what you meant? Do you see how powerful that can be instead of saying, well, you were crabby and you said this to me. You snapped at me. That creates a defensive wall, right? And as we're looking for an apology, the last thing we want to do is accuse our partner and start a secondary argument. Wouldn't it be more powerful instead to tell them, hey, this is how I feel. Because no one can argue with how you feel. If you say, I'm feeling a little bit hurt right now, people can't say, well, you're wrong. I mean, they can say that, but it's not true, right? Your feelings are your feelings and you need to have them. So as you're asking for an apology from your partner, Think about this instead. Instead of waiting, you've got this seed of anger or of upsetness or frustration or of a seed of they don't care about me. It doesn't matter what I say. They don't value me. And this mind, our mind will take this seed just like the seeds that are here in this frozen earth here in Minnesota behind me. And as soon as water hits them, as soon as they start getting nourished, as soon as our brain starts looking for all the other times and all the other reasons why they don't care about us or have, don't listen to us, that seed's going to grow. And next thing we know, we have this relationship that's grown out of our own insecurity, doubt, miscommunication, anger, and frustration. Is that the kind of relationship you want? That's why it's so important to step forward and communicate how you're feeling and clarify what the other person said or did and why. So imagine now you come up to them and you say, hey, I'm still feeling a little bit hurt about that conversation the other day. And I'm just curious, what I heard you say is that I don't listen to you enough. And I really want to correct that. How do you feel listened to? 
that be an amazing way to break open your relationship? To allow your partner to communicate what it is that they want and they need? So now, instead of being sad and wondering what it is that you've done wrong or why they're not apologizing, now instead, you get to take your power back. You get to ask your partner how to make this better in the future if you're willing to change and if you want this relationship to work. It's going to take some give and take. You're setting the stage for how you want to communicate and how the relationship will need to be communicated around in the future. Wouldn't that be amazing? So one strategy to do this is write down what it is that you're actually feeling. What bothered you? And how can you make it, instead of saying like, hey, you did this, you did that, you did the other thing. That's very disempowering and it's gonna put your partner, it's gonna put your friend, it's gonna put your family member on the defense. But instead you say, hey, here's what I observed. Here's what I felt. Here's what I'm hoping for. Are you willing to do that for me? Perhaps then you'll get your apology because they'll see now how it hurt you in a way that's not reactive instead of being like, well, you did this. Oh yeah, well, you said that. Well, if you hadn't said this and now you're both angry, you're both hurt and you're creating this conflict that's going to create those seeds for that bad relationship to keep growing. So now the next time you have a fight in the future, that fight is going to be informed by the fight you've already had, by that apology that was never said by that communication that was never clarified. Because the challenge I see is that every fight we have, and it's true in the brain, right? Our brain resources information by looking back at what we've already observed, what we've already experienced. And then we have something called confirmation bias, where if we think our partner isn't listening to us or doesn't care about us, we're looking for excuses and reasons in our brain for that to be true. So we're trying to break that confirmation bias by actually giving our partner the opportunity or our family member the opportunity to say, no, that's not actually what I meant. I'm sorry you feel that way. Wouldn't that be amazing? Now granted, not everybody's capable of doing that. Not everybody's capable of apologizing, of taking ownership. And then you have to think instead, Is this relationship the one that I want to maintain? Or is this relationship kind of like some of these things where they're in hibernation? Or maybe your friend or your family member is going through a challenge and you need to kind of let it be for a while until spring comes again and they start growing and they start preparing for something new. And they're more open to hearing what you have to say. Or maybe it's time for that relationship. Maybe the cycle is over of that particular relationship and it's time to let it go. So when you're asking if you should demand an apology or not, or maybe you're actually wondering if you should apologize or not, I'll tell you that an apology first is often the right step because people are much softer if they feel hurt and they have hurt you. To get an apology first really opens a person up to another apology. Don't you agree? I mean, have you ever had someone apologize to you and your anger or your hurtness starts softening and you're able to actually realize that they're hurting as well and they're trying to reach out, they're making an effort and then you're able to finally apologize back or to create forgiveness and connection? If you want an apology, When you're ready to create that strong, loving relationship with your partner, your friend, or your family member again, write down, what is it that challenged you? How do you feel about it? How can you take ownership when you bring it up to that person again and say, hey, I really want to fix this. Can we have an open and honest conversation? Because I value you. Take that first step. My name is Dawn Bennett. 
with the nature of relationships. And just like the trees behind me, make sure that whatever communication you are planting in your relationship grows into one of power, strength, connection, and love. Because whatever seeds you plant now in your relationship are the ones that are going to make it, break it, create happiness, or create conflict for the rest of your time together. Make the right choice for yourself. Have a lovely day. Namaste. And if you're interested in more videos, I've got some more conflict videos and relationship videos right up there.